Welcome back to the Jarrett Bay Insider. I'm RV Hodge. In our last episode, we covered three different boats. On this episode, we're going to cover three main topics on one boat, Hull 64. Everybody's getting ready for a big feast this week. It's Thanksgiving week. We're gonna give you a feast for your eyes. The purpose behind these videos is to inform, entertain, and interact with our viewers. We love to hear it when you have comments and especially questions and on any platform. And also, while you're at it, feel free to share these videos. Today's question from Lindsay Miller. So, number 65 is 64 foot, 64 is 68 foot, and 68 is 90 foot. Why not call the number the same as the footage? Well, to throw in a few extra twists in all of that, we had number 67, which was a 55 footer, number 68, which was a 60, I even lost track of myself. I don't know why people get confused about that. But the truth of the matter is, is the names are sequential to when they were started. The whole number is the serial number, if you will. And the length is kind of a nickname. And we do call those interchangeably. The big reason it's the most confusing right now is we have all these boats with whole numbers in the 60s. And we have all these boats with lengths in the 60s. Thanks again for leaving your comments and questions. Feel free to join us in the conversation. Now let's go take a look at the cabin. Last episode, it was just the cabin jig here. As you can see now, we have the cabin sides on, the top is also there, and a lot of other transitional pieces. Come on up and let's talk about it. So we're here with Nick Johnson, who is a finished carpenter. He's been leading the charge on this project. Nick, what all is involved in all of this process? Well, in this cabin here, we have 21 pieces that we have attached now. All of it is dry fitted right now. None of it is glued together. We have CNC cut pieces here that goes around the top. The green pieces here, they are fused together already. About how many pieces will be involved in the whole cabin assembly before it's ready to glass together? Before it's all ready to glass together, I think it'll be around 40, around 40 pieces or so. That's a lot of chunks of stuff. We're introducing a new segment today, and Nick, you're the guinea pig. How long have you been here? I've been here about 19 years. 19 years. What is your favorite tool? Um, I'm gonna have to go with the hand router. Hand router, okay. All right, thank you, Nick. Now, let's go check out the bridge wings. We are on the big mold, and we're looking at what we call the bridge wings. They're part of the surround of the bridge structure. It sits on top of the cabin. As you can see, we're ready to infuse this. The last piece that goes on here is the bag, but you can see the various individual layers, the peel ply, the glass, and so forth. The resin will be infused in, will be pulled through, and in a few short hours after that process starts, we'll have a finished part. Once we peel this off of the mold, this will have a nice smooth surface. That will be the outside surface. It'll be ready for paint and the part itself will be very light and very stiff and structural. Now, let's go take a look at our salon floor. So I'm standing on the salon floor, which is one of the most taken for granted components in the boat's construction. Obviously, there's a lot more that needs to be done to this project. The whole floor is made out of aluminum because it's easy to customize. We can make pass-throughs where we need them for running wires, hoses, and pipes. It's very strong and we have the ability to put sound dampening foam in between. We'll put a bottom plate on it that is a foam infused part that's pre-painted so that the engine room side will have a real nice clean white ceiling. The top side will have some sound dampening plywood. That's what you'll stand on when you are in the salon. The sound difference between the loud engines and the nice salon is tremendous. As you can see, there's a bunch of holes in this, and those are for spraying foam for sound dampening purposes in those chambers that are not gonna be used as chases. It's sort of like stuffing our turkey. We're under the strong back of hull 68. What we're looking at here is 100 foot long rib bands. There's no way to have them in the shop without them being in the way. But right now, they're under a 76 foot strong back, so only 24 feet of them is in the way. Anyhow, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you and your family, your loved ones, have a great time. And I think we have a lot to be thankful for. And I hope we're all able to focus on that. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>